On Soul 150, Perseverance captured a panorama that feels like looking straight into Mars's past. The rover sits quietly on the floor of Jezero Crater, surrounded by a landscape shaped by slow, powerful forces. As the 360-degree view turns, the ground stretches outward in every direction, coated in fine red dust. Scattered rocks lie across the surface like pieces of a broken puzzle, each one formed during a different chapter of Mars's history. In the distance, small ridges rise gently along the horizon. Look closely and you can see thin layers stacked one over another, like pages in an ancient book. Some were created when wind carved the land, others formed when water once flowed here, settling into ponds and channels. Scientists study these layers because they record the story of a planet that changed over billions of years. Near the rover, faint tracks press into the soil, curving across the landscape. They show the careful path Perseverance has taken, stopping often to scan rocks, test samples, and take readings. Instruments on board analyze minerals and chemistry, searching for signatures that might hint at environments where tiny forms of life could once have existed. As the camera continues to rotate, shadows stretch across the ground, shaped by the soft Martian sunlight filtering through dust in the thin atmosphere. The sky glows faintly, not bright blue like Earth, but muted, quiet, and distant. There is no sound, no movement, only stillness. Yet every detail feels important. The Sol 150 panorama reveals erosion marks, fractures in rock, and strange textures that tell scientists how water and wind once worked together here. Each new image adds another piece to the puzzle of how Mars transformed from a wetter world into the cold desert we see today. Every picture Perseverance sends back reminds us that exploration is happening right now, on another planet. And with each soul, we move closer to understanding whether Mars was ever a place where life could begin.